for tuning in to Lindsay's Latest. Today I am going to give you guys tips on how to find sunglasses that best suit your face shape. And I'm gonna show you guys a little exercise to figure out what your face shape actually is so that you know what to shop for next time you go sunglass shopping. I just wanna be clear here, you guys, these tips aren't an exact science because I'm all for wearing things for the sake of fashion. Sometimes I love sunglasses and they may be a bit oversized, but I love them so much. I want to wear them. So this video is for those of you who aren't really sure and need a few tips. To accurately figure out the shape of your face, what you need to get is a handheld mirror and something to draw on the mirror with. I have a lipstick that I'll probably never wear, but I think it might be best if you have a dry erase marker or, eh, I'm just using lipstick. <laughs> This may get a little tricky because I've never done a sunglass video, so we may get a few weird reflections, so please ignore those. And you want to look at yourself and take your dry erase marker or lipstick that you'll never wear, <laughs> and you're going to draw around the outline of your face. You guys, I'm doing this and trying to get a good camera angle, to be quite honest, so it's a bit awkward. You will do this better because you won't be filming it. And you can see the shape right here. I have an oval face shape, which is what I thought I already had. Although we have all different size faces and heads, I've narrowed it down to four face shapes that I'm going to go over. The good news is oval shaped faces are universally flattering to just about every sunglass shape. So have at it, whatever your heart desires and whatever is your personal style, you can wear them. As far as proportionately speaking, oval shaped faces look best in just about every sunglass shape. But I am currently wearing a lot of these Tom Ford sunglasses. If you guys follow me on Instagram, at Lindsay Albanese, gotta plug that. <laughs> you have seen these in the rotation on my Instagram. But I wear all kinds, but currently coveting these bad boys right here. If you have a square shaped face, then you wanna choose styles that have softer lines. For instance, round shapes will soften the harsher lines of your face. As you can see, this is round right here. And if you have a square face, this will soften the sharper lines and will help soften the angles in your face. Or you can go with a rounded cat eye. These are ideal for someone with a square face or a stronger jawline. If you have a heart-shaped face, which is where your head is wider up here, and then you have a really pointy chin and a narrow jawline, then you want to go for styles that are aviator. Because the aviator kind of has a heart shape itself, so it goes along the lines of your face. These give the same effect and are similar to the shape of the aviator. And they are also well suited for your face shape. If you have a round face, you want to go for sunglasses that have angular and clean lines so that they go along with your bone structure. So think really, really strong lines, for instance. The clean lines of these sunglasses will add definition and accentuate your bone structure. I know, these sunglasses are so good. I got them a few years ago and I love them like they're brand new. Wayfarers are also your best friend because they have really clean, strong lines. And these sunglasses are similar to Wayfarers. As I showed you, these looked great on a heart-shaped face as well. This is a similar Wayfarer style. You've probably seen the style that's all black. I don't have those, but I had these and they're pretty similar. You can also go for square shape for those of you with a round face because this has the same effect. And in other news, while I was going through my sunglass collection to find sunglasses suitable for this video, I came across these and I don't know what grandpa I robbed. You know those big ones, the blue blockers that go over your existing reading sunglasses? And that's all I got for my sunglass shopping tips. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I hope this gave you a little help in the shades department, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.